Good evening, everybody. We are all football tonight. It will be a full-size Gold Rush helmet, followed by a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, which will then have what come up? I think a, a Gold Rush Mini helmet, I believe, is third up tonight. And then finally, a case of Classics. So that's what we're looking at. But before we get started ripping the plastic on things, we do have a little info to go over, so let me see if I can get us started on that while everybody's getting settled in, if you will. First up there, uh, my feedback is completely automated on eBay, so what that means to you is basically that you never have to wait on me. As soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get it in return. And the second thing on that page, and probably the most important thing on that page, <clears throat> excuse me, is to say thank you because I like to do breaks and I love that you guys participate and you come and bid and break with me and chat with me and all that stuff so thanks a lot however you're participating I appreciate you so thanks guys and gals we are next taking a look at the breaks that are coming up here over the course of the next five days this is stuff that's already listed on eBay up and available for bidding right now so tomorrow night, note that we are going to start a little earlier than normal. We're going to start at 9.30 instead of 10. And we'll open a case of Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs, which is a three-box case. We'll open another half case of the TriStar Autograph Mini Helmets. That's a five-box break. And then another 10-box case of Classics, like what we're going to open tonight. We're going to skip Monday night, mainly because a few days ago, yeah, I couldn't sit and list that night. That's uh, that's the day I busted up my ribs, right? I did well to get through the break. I didn't get anything listed. So we're not going to break Monday night, but then we will on Tuesday night break a half case of Tier 1. That's the last of the Tier 1 that I have. We have been breaking it as a case. This one is a half case because that's all I have left. We will also break a full case of Essentials Basketball. On Wednesday, a Gold Rush autographed baseball jersey, another case of the Onyx Preferred Players Baseballs, at, which I think is the last of them, I believe, the one on Wednesday night. And then we'll open a full case of Topps Finest Baseball, which comes out on Wednesday. On Thursday, we'll, go, we'll do another half case of the TriStar autographed mini helmets. We will do a couple of boxes of the 2012 Signature Series Baseball and another full case of Finest Baseball. So that's what we're looking at in the days ahead, but for tonight, this is also the order that we're breaking in. So it is the 2018 Gold Rush full-size autograph helmet, followed by the half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, then the 2018 Gold Rush mini helmet, the Series 2 mini helmet, and then the case of Classics Football. <clears throat> couple other things to note about that. First three breaks are free shipping breaks. Anytime you do a break with me that is completely free shipping, uh, it's going to go out six or seven days after the auction ends on average. So anticipating that stuff to ship out roughly Friday. Sometimes I'm able to get it, get it out a little earlier, but for the most part, you know, kind of plan on Friday and be pleasantly surprised if it gets out the door sooner than that. Also, if you are in one of those first three breaks, you and you don't pull a card if your team is completely skunked, you don't pull anything at all, you are still entitled to a consolation card. It can be from any year in any series. I track it for a rolling 90-day period, and I would typically send that consolation card with your next package that ships out. If you happen to want that card sent to you by itself, it'll just be slapped in a plain white envelope with a stamp, but I can take care of it. Just shoot me a message on eBay and let me know. Then our paid shipping break tonight, that is Classics Football. And of course, we don't have to worry about consolation cards there. Every team will pull several cards in that break. And the anticipated shipping date for that is Wednesday. And if I can get that out to you faster, I absolutely will. I am not quite as sore as I was earlier in the week, so I am picking up steam. We're making progress, so I may be able to get it out a little sooner than Wednesday. All right, so this brings us up to 2018 Gold Rush full-size autograph football helmet break number 13. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, Saturday, June the 2nd. It all was listed on eBay, of course, and we're breaking it tonight as well, Saturday the 2nd. I do know we have a few people that I was waiting on payment, so if you are one of those people and you have not paid for your spot in this break or one of the other upcoming breaks, please take a moment to take care of that right now. 
And one other thing about this brake, there's a couple of spots there. College Greats, it's a multi-signed helmet, and the Heisman Winners is also a multi-signed helmet. You can see uh, information about those in the listing description. I think there's pictures of them. And if it comes out either one of those, of course, they're going to go to their respective bidding spots, as you see listed there. And everything else is teams as normal. And of course, a new spreadsheet will go up before the start of every break. So if you weren't in that one, you're going to get a chance to see your name up there when we get to your break. And last but not least, I do know the focus changed right there. I did it on purpose, but not don't sweat it. Not to worry. We're going to be able to see everything just fine. And now in chat, I see we have Matt and David and Nicholas and Chris and Jotto871. So we got a good group of uh, people in chat tonight. How is everybody? Everybody have a good day today, hopefully. All right, so our Gold Rush Mini Helmet. I always get a little bit of a sneak peek because once I open the inner box here, there's a sticker on the lid that tells me who the helmet is. So sometimes I get a little, uh, I get a little ahead of you there. Well, pretty much every time I get a little ahead of you, I know who it's going to be. <laughs> ah, right now I can't get it out of the box. All right, you can probably tell by the colors we are bringing out a Denver Bronco tonight. And it is none other than Terrell Davis. So there's your nice uh, Terrell Davis autographed Denver Broncos full-size helmet. I am looking to see. There's our, here's our paper authentication. It is JSA. And somewhere here on the back, we have a little JSA authentication sticker that matches it. So once again... Yeah, Terrell Davis for the Broncos. So, nice hit for the Denver Broncos. Good way to start things off. Chris, <laughs> you said you're roasting in Lexington today. You know what? I didn't think it was as hot today as it's been some days. But, you know, it is, uh, it is warm for this. It's been warm, actually, for the whole last month. Warmer than normal, I think. All right, so that's got our mini helmets out of the way. Let me get our spreadsheet set back up and we'll roll into the next break. And Matt, you're asking me how my ribs are. You know what, they're better. <laughs> they are still sore. And from what I have been told, I believe they're gonna be sore for several weeks, but they are definitely better than they were right after I did it, because that was brutal. All right, if you did not see this a second ago, Please take a moment and read the information there. Your anticipated shipping date for the upcoming break is Friday. Once again, that is because it's a free shipping break. Those go out on a longer schedule than our paid shipping breaks. And of course, as our other break, if you're not uh, pulled, you are entitled to a consolation card. All the details are there on the screen and you can also find them in the listing description. Five boxes of 2011 Prime Signatures Football Half Case Break number 76 and same format as before this of course also ended tonight saturday june the second and of course once again team names on one side ebay user id of our winning bidders uh, across from it there on the opposite side nicholas says you are chasing down a mess going through your jerome bettis cards common to autos oh hey you have that card show this weekend don't you nicholas or is that next weekend? Did I get it confused? I remember you talking about it because you said you had a drive. I want to say it was like a couple of hours each direction or something that sounded like it wouldn't be fun for me to do. <laughs> I don't like driving all that much. I used to not mind it, but eh, not so much now. Oh, you are right. Uh, the uh, Chris is saying that the that the he'll take the heat over the rain that we've been having and yeah we had some monumental rain for gosh i don't know several days in a row like four four or five days in a row we had a lot of rain 
We needed some rain, but I don't know if we needed quite that much rain, but anyway. Oh, Nicholas, your show is next weekend. Okay. I don't know why I had my head. It was this weekend. Maybe I did hit my head, too. <laughs> no, we know I didn't. I just didn't remember. All right, so 2011 Prime Signatures. Here's, here's all you need to know about it. It is one pack per box. It's typically one hit per pack. Every once in a while, we get lucky and find an extra hit in a pack. These are just paper checklists, and we're going to toss them. Actually, I'll recycle them because I'm kind of freaky about recycling things. But <laughs> if we do pull a redemption, we'll go to the Panini website and find out who the player is and what the team is. Also, if we pull a redemption, it's going to be expired. However, put it in your account anyway. Sometimes they still have these older cards when they do. You can usually expect them to show up within a couple months on the older expired stuff. So if you enter it, a couple of months go by, you haven't gotten it. Pretty good odds that they don't still have that particular card. If you can ever track down a live person, they will happily trade, that car, trade those out for a, a different card of a similar value. And it's really hard to find anybody. And I generally suggest that you use Twitter or Facebook to find a live, breathing person who actually works at Panini. And then the final thing about this, every card in here is numbered, even our base cards. And we are off to the races. Jay Cutler to $4.99 for the Bears. Jared Allen to $4.99 Vikings. Chad Greenway to $25 for the Vikings. And the dreaded redemption. We'll set it over there because we'll deal with it at the end of the break. To $4.99, Thurman Thomas and the Bills. Jacoby Ford, $4.99 Raiders. Pierre Thomas to $99 for the Saints. And look who it is, speaking of the bus. I think you might have conjured that up, Nicholas. That is a sweet little hit. How about it? Mr. Jerome Bettis to $49 coming out for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know I love my Steelers. You know I love the bus. That hit makes me happy. It makes me think we're going to have a good night. Greg Jennings to $4.99 for the Packers. D'Angelo Williams, $4.99. Panthers, Vernon Davis to $99 for the 49ers. And Arielis Ben to $49 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, wow. It is... Um, Oh, yeah, two-hour drive each way. See, I knew there was something I, I knew there was something about that show that I remember thinking, ooh, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, that must be it. I wouldn't want to drive two hours each way for three days. Rosie Greer, $4.99 Rams. Maurice Jones-Drew, $4.99 Jags. Malcolm Floyd to $99 for the Chargers. And Taiwan Jones to $2.49 for the Raiders. That one is an on-card signature. Basically, if the rookies were at the rookie premiere, it's on card. If it's a veteran or a rookie that wasn't at premiere day, it's a sticker auto in this set. Jerome Simpson to $4.99 Bengals. Michael Vick, $4.99 Eagles. Billy Houghton, $4.99 Packers. And Jake Locker to $1.99 Titans. That one is also on card. Now, before we recap, we got to go deal with this. So our card set is Rookie Signature Silver. Our card number is 203. And I'm going to bring you along with me while we go find out who exactly that redemption is for. So let's roll over here together to the Panini website, the handy little Panini website, and see what we can't figure out about this. I know it's a long drop down menu, but it is um, totally worth it to have all this information available all the way back to what, 2009? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Rookie Signature Silver is what we are looking for. It's right there. Card number 203 is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this guy. Nathan Enderly or something like that for the Bears and uh, numbered to 199. So we know it's the Bears, we know it's to 199. I don't recognize that player, so I don't know. Maybe I should, but I don't. So there you have it. So let's recap 2011 Prime Signatures Half Case. 
We have a redemption that comes up for the Bears to 199. Jake Locker to 199 on card Titans. Taiwan Jones 249 on card Raiders. Ari Ellis Ben to 49 sticker for the Bucks. And the beautiful little Jerome Bettis, the bus for the Steelers to 49 sticker and pretty awesome. So 2011 Prime Signatures locked and loaded and finished up will bring us to our mini helmet. Tonight, of course, just a single box with the Gold Rush mini helmet. Tomorrow night, we'll be back at it uh, with a half case of the new TriStar mini helmets, which just came out on Wednesday. We've already busted a case of them. We're going to keep going. I bought us a few cases to bust. All right, once again, if you were asleep or not here or not paying attention, whatever the case may be, a lot of people jump in and out. Please take a moment, review the information there about your anticipated shipping date for this break, which is the autograph mini helmet, and also the information you see written there about consolation cards. More information about the consolation cards also can be found in the main listing description. This is one box of 2018 Gold Rush Series 2 autograph mini helmet, break number 14. And of course, it also ended tonight, June the 2nd, and we're getting ready to bust into it. See what kind of good luck we can bring out for this. Usually Gold Rush brings us pretty good luck in general, I think. Nicholas, did you say you picked up 3,000 boxes of 1993 to 2014 mixed cards? 3,000 boxes? Oh, man. That is an insane number of cards how are you ever going to get all that sorted oh i do not i would not like that sorting is not my friend it's my, my it's my least favorite thing so coming out tonight we have the tampa bay buccaneers i do not know whose signature that is particularly but we definitely know it is a tampa bay buccaneer there is a little jsa authentication in there when you get this tampa bay bucks you can plug that number. It's also the number that's on the sticker back here. You can plug that into their website and it will tell you uh, exactly who has signed your helmet and what date they signed it and all that. I just don't happen to recognize the signature. But anyway, it is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, you picked up three boxes of 3,000. Oh, like 3,000 each? So 9,000 total? Oh, mercy, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, yes, I would not be a fan of that. I'm trying to kick all these prime signatures boxes out of the way and make some room so I can throw all these uh, classics boxes over there in a hot second. Let me get classics up on the table, then we'll put the spreadsheet up and be ready to go again. All right. Okie dokie. Let's get set up with our spreadsheet. And we'll be ready to get after it. Okay, so Classics, of course, has its own shipping date. It's a page shipping break. Expecting it to go out Wednesday. If I can get it out to you faster than that, I certainly will. And, of course, every team in here will pull a card or cards because this is base card heavy lots of cards in here and all the cards do ship 10 boxes of 2018 panini classics football it's a full inner case it is break number six and of course it ended tonight uh, as well june the second and we have our team names on one side and your name and lights across from it if you happen to be the winning bidder and that's pretty much, yeah, that's the way we usually, that's the way we usually run it down. But now, I have to get all this out of here. So, this is a good time to take a bathroom break or uh, get a snack or walk the dog if you need to do any of that. Because it will take me a few minutes by the time we get everything, well, I guess I didn't get all the tape cut. By the time we get everything out of the case and then get the first box open and the first packs open, it will take us a few minutes. Uh, 
Alrighty. So, here's what we're looking for. Somewhere in all of this... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Saltil is saying I've made a mistake on the spreadsheet. Well, that is definitely possible. For sure that's possible because I cut and paste it. Every once in a while, I forget to clear uh, what's in my on my clipboard before I paste something else in there. And let's just fix that if that's what I did because it is absolutely uh, possible that that's what I did. So hang on a second, guys, while I get into my eBay account and see if I can figure this out and see who should be in there. And by the way, I don't ever ship from that. So even if I make a cut and paste error on this spreadsheet, it would never cause me to ship something to the wrong place. Just FYI. All right, let me get myself down here. Hang on. Figure out who this is supposed to be. And it's loading. Well, come on. eBay is not wanting to cooperate with me tonight. It's being very slow and stubborn. All right, come on now. Yes, indeed. Let me fix that right there is who this should be. So let me get back over here and fix it. There, that looks better. Thank you for catching that, man. I appreciate that. And, um, oh, you said you didn't see the teams above the Cowboys. Okay, well, I will just scroll right through it again for you. So there you go once again. Uh, we'll take a look at this. And, of course, I just corrected what was there for the Rams. Thank you for letting me know on that salt hill. Apparently, I just forgot to clear the clipboard and pasted the same user ID in there twice. And once again, guys, it, when I do that, it's not often that I do it, but certainly I have done it before. Uh, just know that I never, ever ship from the spreadsheet that you see here. That is just for our information. I actually print out the invoices directly from eBay and ship from those. So even when I kind of mess up and paste the wrong thing in there, it would never... You would never be in any danger of having your card headed to the wrong place. Ryan, you were asking about NBA memorabilia. You talking about, what, basketball jerseys and stuff like that? I mean, we certainly have broken some of those. We broke some Gold Rush basketball jerseys earlier this year, but they're out of them right now. We broke, uh, most recently, some Hit Parade three-peat boxes, which had an autographed jersey and an autographed baseball and an autographed photograph in it. I have broken a few autographed baseball or basketballs by themselves, but only a couple of times. Just in general, the basketball stuff is not as um, prevalent as some of the other stuff. Part of that is probably due to the fact that, you know, it's a limited number of players, right? I mean, in comparison to the number of players that you have on a, a football team or the number that you have on a baseball team, it's, especially when you get into the farm system and whatnot, there's just a lot more athletes to choose from than you have in basketball, so not as much of it around there. But I do get it from time to time. I think they're out of those hit parade boxes at the moment. We broke two or three of those, I guess, uh, like a month or so ago. And they were fun. We did some for baseball and some for basketball. So in classics, here's what we're looking for. Somewhere in this case, we will have a buyback autograph. So that's a case hit we'll find. Outside of that, we're in general going to find one autograph and one memorabilia card per box. 
we will also find lots of numbered cards. Anything you see that is numbered to 299, it's going to have a red back. If it is numbered 250, it's going to have a blank back. We'll also find some timeless tributes in various uh, numbered configurations, and we'll talk about those as we go through them. And Ed, you are asking me, oh, we're just now getting started on this, Ed, so uh, we don't have any, we haven't seen anything yet. We're just now getting rolling with uh, this. We had a few breaks ahead of it, of course. DJ Chark, this is an example of one of the cards that is numbered. It is to 99. And we're going to find a bunch of those. DJ Chark is a Jaguar. Our rookies, they're going to go to the team that drafted them. If they were undrafted, they will go to the team that they are currently with as of this date. This is to 299 red back. So there are only right now maybe one or two that are completely unaffiliated. Uh, one of them is Riley Ferguson. That is numbered to 50, blank back, Justin Jackson. And yes, I know Riley Ferguson went to Tampa Bay, but they cut him in Tampa Bay. He never signed down there. He was there like a week, and then he was gone. Numbered to 299, red back. Classic clashes, uh, that we're going to find a bunch of. There are two different teams on that card, so I'm going to set it aside, and we will use random.org to award those at the end of the break. We'll find lots and lots of chrome cards in here, sometimes called Optic by Panini, sometimes called Optichrome. We're just going to call them chrome. That is numbered to 65. Most of them that we see that are gold trimmed like that and refractors will be numbered to 65. We will find a bunch that are unnumbered, and those are not refractors. And then we'll find another set that are refractors, but they don't have that gold trim. Those will typically have a red back and be numbered to 175. Then we have number 225, Tavarius McFadden. That's another one of our timeless tributes. And uh, I don't really remember off the top of my head. Let me see if I have a few of these that I can't remember I have written down, but I don't even know if I have Travarius written down, so let me see if I do. Yes, I do. He's a 49er. Because as many times as we have done this and I have sorted these and whatnot, I still have a few of these players. I just cannot remember where they go. Nice little sticker. We'll find a bunch of those along the way as well. And... Jay Allen, you are asking the helmet. Yes, both helmets have already broken. Everything has broken tonight already, except for classics, which is what we are breaking right now. And yes, all the cards ship Jotto 871. That's always going to be the case, guys. If something doesn't ship, it will always say that in the listing description right under the area where it tells you the number of boxes that we're opening and the name of the product and all that. If it is ever a situation where not all the cards ship, that is the place where it will say, you know, whatever it is doesn't ship, veteran base or whatever the case may be. If it does not say anything up there in that area about something not shipping, then everything will go out the door. Jim Kelly and Andre Reed with a combo relic for the Buffalo Bills is our first hit out. And there's a Dion Kane, just a base... Uh, a base chrome there, no refractor on that one. I see Nicholas answered that too, so thank you, Nicholas, for answering some of those for me. I appreciate it. We have numbered to 99, uh, James Harrison for the Steelers. And guys, there is definitely a possibility as I go through here that I may look past something that is numbered. If I do, I will find it when I'm sorting for sure. Uh, but of course, if you notice it as we're going through, you're welcome to jump in there and let me know about it. This is a nice hit, numbered to 15. Very low number. Of course, Josh Rosen, an Arizona Cardinal, has not been coming out of this a whole lot. So I think that is an excellent hit for the Cardinals, particularly with the nice low number to 15. So glad to see Josh Allen 
coming out and get things started off right here. Oh, Stafford Sports Cards, is this, uh, you have the Cardinals tonight? Mike Wagner, that again, just a base chrome. And hey, hey, we have a little bonus relic for the Steelers. How about you, Nicholas? You have Big Ben and Antonio Brown with a nice little relic combo. So you're off to a, we're off to a good start all the way around. An extra hit in our box and... On top of that, Josh Rosen to 15. Nothing to sneeze at. So all across the board, I like box one. Jeff, you're looking for a Barry Sanders. I'm going to try, man. I know you like Barry Sanders. I'm going to try really hard to do that for you. But you know what? Your little, um, why am I blanking on his name? Your little round two running back, uh, carry on, uh, right? Isn't that his name? He has been, I've been hearing good things about him. Maybe you should be stockpiling him. I'm just saying. There, of course, you know, I realize it's not the, that's not the first time we've heard good things about somebody in camp that when it comes time to get to the real season, we're like, ooh, yeah, no, that didn't work out. But <laughs> until that happens, I choose to believe that they're going to be fabulous. And, uh, yeah, so I think you might want to be stockpiling a little carry-on from what we're hearing out of training camp anyway. Oh, yeah, Stafford, you did hit that. I forgot you had that. We, had, we pulled a really nice uh, dual auto of Hank Aaron and uh, Sandy Koufax, and, and Stafford got that in one of our other breaks. Eric Dickerson blank back to 50 for the Rams. That was out of, I think, Tier 1, wasn't it? We had the nice dual auto. We had another nice dual auto out of Tier 1 last night. It was, um, oh gosh, why am I blanking on it? It was Devers and somebody. Clint Frazier, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a good case, kids. Look who we have out next. Luke Falk to 49. Maybe we're going to have a case of quarterbacks. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, 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 it would be. I would like that. That would make me happy. So we are off to a good start with Luke Falk and Josh Rosen coming out so far with our autographs. Then we have numbered to 299 with a red back, Akram Wadley. Basically, I'm not going to necessarily flip all the 299s over unless you guys just want me to because we know all the 299s are a red back. Well, here is a Barry Sanders for you, Jeff, to 299 with a red back. So we probably, you know what? We should have been more specific in setting our attentions because all we all we hoped for was to pull you a Barry Sanders, which we did. We should have said pull you a Barry Sanders autograph. So now we've got to re we got to reset our mojo and look for a Barry Sanders autograph because basically, you know, the card gods said, "All right, here's your Barry Sanders." So yeah, we gotta we gotta try it again. We need a Barry Sanders auto. And um, <laughs> Jotto says, you need some of this luck. You've done 40 boxes of classics chasing Josh Allen. Didn't we, pull, didn't we pull Josh Allen not too long ago out of here? Wasn't it a break or two ago? Didn't we get Josh Allen in here? I think we did. Um, maybe a break or two back, I think. But then again, it could have been in Leaf. He's all over Leaf. And, of course, you guys all know I like Leaf, so I break it pretty much everything they come out with that's football and baseball related anyway. So it could have been in there, but I could have sworn we hit a Josh Allen in Classics, but I don't know. Sometimes it all blends together. Number to 25, Timeless Tributes, Orange, Jim Kelly for the Bills. Nicholas says he thinks Mason Rudolph is in here. 
I know for sure we've pulled Mason Rudolph out of another case of classics recently. Charlie Taylor, Redskins, that is what I was talking about. When they are refractors, they have red backs, and they're numbered to 175 when they have the silver border. So when we get one with a different color border, like we had with the gold one, they'll have a different numbering on the back. But for the most part, just the basic refractor silver border will have a red back to 175. But all in all, uh, I think we're in a pretty good... I didn't mean to leave him there. I think we are in a pretty good little groove with what we're hitting so far tonight anyway. To 99 Kareem Hunt Timeless Tribute for the Kansas City Chiefs. And a relic for Eric Dickerson and the Rams. Canton Collection Swatches. So I guess the basketball game's on, right? Is the game on? I just, I don't know, guys. I'm having such a hard time getting into the finals of the NBA this year. I just feel like we've already watched it. Redskins, Jordan Reed, that will have a red back, numbered to 299. I didn't watch any sports today except for the French Open. I know, I'm a tennis nerd, but I like, I like tennis, and I particularly like watching Serena Williams on her comeback, so I had fun watching that today. But I did not watch anything else, sports-wise. I had a lot to do. I had to get a bunch of stuff to the post office before they closed up. I hate that they close early on Saturdays because I don't get nearly as much done as I want. And then all the boring weekend stuff like grocery shopping and tending to the house and all the little stuff that nobody likes to do. <laughs> Stafford says he didn't want to be greedy, but he does want a Jimmy Garoppolo card <laughs> to top it off. Well, if I can pull you a Jimmy G, I will happily do that, sir. I've got uh, I've got a bunch of 2014 stuff around here, actually. I need to get back to getting some of that listed. Actually, I've got a lot of stuff. 2013, 14, 15... Probably some some others from 11 and 12. I know I've got some stuff from 2010. Got a lot of that sort of stuff that we often break in one or two box breaks or in mixers or something like that. So I do need to get back on board with getting that listed. Harold Landry to 299. That's a red back. And we pulled a really nice Jimmy G Immaculate out of Honors not too long ago. That's numbered to 99, Denzel Ward, Timeless Tributes. It was, of course, a, a relic and an on-card auto to 299, Red, Mike, Red Back, Mike Wagner, Steelers. And I think it was numbered to 5. It was a nice little hit out of, um, what do you call it, Honors. Here comes Mike Gesicki to 199. And Mike is a Dolphin. So Miami Dolphins with a nice little hit there. Oh, game two is not until tomorrow night. Okay, they're giving them a, a big rest then. Was it, wasn't was it last night. It was the night before last was the first game, wasn't it? Or did I dream that? To 299 Jordan Howard red back for the Bears. I will admit that sometimes my days run together, but I swear I thought that other game was a couple days ago. Terry Bradshaw for the Steelers to 99 Timeless Tributes. See, just that alone shows you how little I am following the finals at this point. Didn't even know when the next game is. It's bad. I don't know. I'm tired of watching those two play. I wanted to see something different for a change. Brett Favre, Packers, Redback, 175, Chrome Refractor.
Oh, whoops. He's got to go over there in that big pile of uh, we have to do something with them cards. Like, you know that Panini realizes that a massive amount of their stuff is broken. So, they know how card breaks work. Why do they always have to put these cards in there? <laughs> Base cards, I mean, with like multiple teams on there. When it's hits, okay. But when it's base cards, come on now. They're just trying to make us work hard, aren't they? Make us work for it. That's, that's all right. I don't, I really don't mind doing it. It's just, I always hate having, I feel like it's taking, well, it is taking something away from somebody. Anytime you have to use random, they're only going to get, one person's going to get it and nobody else. And then the other people, it's terrible to be on the losing side of that. Combo for the Eagles, Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz on our relic out of this box. So that's the main reason I don't like them to come out that way. DJ Chart, $2.99, red back. He's a Jaguar. I probably said that earlier, but in case I didn't, he is. Joining his former teammate, Leonard Fournette, down there in uh, Jacksonville. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Somebody is trying to uh, roll right off the pile there and escape. We'll open that box next. The one that's trying to call attention to itself. Maybe it's holding something fabulous and that's why it wants to go next. I don't know. We'll find out though. Because as soon as we plow through this one, we'll go right into the... One that took a nosedive a second ago. So this upcoming week, not on Wednesday, which, you know, is our typical release day for cards, but on Friday of next week, we have Luminance football coming out. And by the looks of it, it's pretty cool. It's got some nice relics in it, it appears. I don't... Obviously, you never know till you get them in your hand and start opening the packs, but from the marketing materials, it looks like it's got some very nice relics. It shows a lot of Nike swooshes and stuff like that, and should have, I believe this is, I think this is the one that has the draft, they're calling them, I think, draft day autographs, or maybe they're calling them next day, I don't know, one of the two. Anyway, it will be, I think, a lot of our high-profile rookies. That'll be in luminance. So that will be next Friday. But we do have something coming on Wednesday, and it is finest, top's finest baseball, as you saw there on our checklist, or on our, on our checklist, <laughs> on our spreadsheet earlier. We will start opening it when it comes out on Wednesday night. Mark Walton to $2.99, red back. And personally, I love Finest because I have pulled some really good stuff out of Finest over the years. I really like it. Joe Mixon to 49 for the Bengals. Our first veteran signature of the evening goes to Cincinnati. He's not much of a vet. Been there one, one season. Still feels like he should be a rookie, but he isn't. We've actually had pretty good luck pulling 101s out of Classics, too. We've had a couple. Uh, the most recent one was an autograph uh, version as well. Then we had a we had a one of one Brett Favre come out recently. Then we had the one of one somebody for the Dolphins. That's the one that had the signature. This is numbered to 99, Jordy Nelson and the Packers Timeless Tributes. And maybe even another. We've had two or three. We've had at least two, maybe three, one of ones out of classics. 
Seeing Jordy Nelson reminded me of what happened to Clay Matthews today. Did you guys see that? He's playing in that um, charity softball game. He was pitching, and he got blasted in the face with a, a ball hit back at him. Deshaun Jackson to 299 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers red back. And, yeah, I think it broke his nose. That was bad news. Knocked him down, too, like you, well, you would expect if you took a line drive to the face. Brian Dawkins, that is numbered to 65, chrome refractor. But, yeah, he didn't stay down long. I mean, I would have probably still been on the ground. <laughs> but he popped right back up. Nose pouring blood, ran off, and I guess they're going to evaluate him or maybe they already have but it looked like it broke his nose like that was so painful oh yes yeah, so i'll tell it was uh kenyan drake you're right that was uh uh the autograph the one of one from earlier in the week i believe that's right oh nicholas says jarvis landry did we hit a jarvis landry just base one of one jim kelly red back to 299 Maybe really early on, Nicholas. Is that the one we're th you're thinking of? I couldn't remember if we hit a third one of one, but maybe your your memory's probably better than mine in regard to that. A Von Miller relic for the Broncos. Oh yeah, we have to open this one. This is the one that was making all the noise. I missed a full throttle numbered. Where, which stack did I just put those on? Oh, happy days. I don't know if this is the stack I had in my hand or a different one. Maybe that one, but that doesn't appear to be numbered. Is it? No. Um, yeah, you guys got to help me out when you see them go by and tell me like what team or player it is because the deal is this. There's a little bit of a delay in chat. Uh, so the time you type it in to the time that I see it, there's a little bit of a delay. Um, I'm just basically picking up the top of all of the stacks over there. There's another looking for the one that you are talking about. There it is. There it is. That's a good eye, man. Thank you. I wouldn't have found that till I was sorting for sure. There's our numbering over there to the left. It is numbered to 99, Kareem Hunt and the Kansas City Chiefs. It would help me so much if they would keep the numbers in one place, but they don't. Sometimes they're on the left-hand side of the card, which is usually our base card. But then on the inserts, sometimes they're on the left, sometimes they're on the right, sometimes they're on the back, sometimes the top, sometimes the bottom. Oh my gosh, when there's this many cards and they put that many numbered stuff in there, I wish they would keep the numbering in the same place. But Jay Otto, that was some excellent spotting work. So thank you for that. You and Nicholas always does a really good job with that, too. He catches them sometimes for me when I'm buzzing through and I miss one. Oh, yeah, you are absolutely right. They can be. The inserts are the worst for me because, as I said, they put the number in so many places. They tend to slide right by you sometimes. Sony Michelle to $2.99 for the Patriots. There is Timeless Tribute to, to 99 for the Redskins with P. Ryan. And also they put them in the spot, you know, like the picture's so busy. You really have to know it's up there. To 299 Dallas Goddard, that is a red back. And it will be flying off to the Philadelphia Eagles. Nicholas, I can understand why you are preoccupied. You have got that crazy amount of cards that you were trying to sort. And you're trying to get ready for your break. Kurt Benkert, numbered to 25. Kurt was originally undrafted and subsequently went to, I believe it is the Falcons. And of course, that's a nice little chrome refractor 
gold sticker auto number to 25 on the back with Kurt Benkert. I will make sure that he is, yeah, he is a Falcon. I thought he was, but now we know for sure. Joe Flacco, numbered to 65, refractor, chrome refractor for the Ravens. I don't remember which side we looked at and which we hadn't, so we'll just we'll just look at them all again. <laughs> if we already looked at a few of them, we will look at them again right now. Because I had them laying in a weird spot. To 299, Tim Brown for the Raiders red back variation. How many Jerome Bettis cards do you think you have, Nicholas, if you had to guess? How many would you say you have of just Jerome Bettis? I think I'm going to sell some of my stuff. You know, normally I'm kind of against that, but I was just looking the other day at how much stuff I have and even how many cards I have, and I think I may sell some of mine. I've got a nice little one-of-one one Kobe Bryant that I'll probably put up for sale. Somebody offered me $500 for it, but I think it's probably worth more than $500. You never know, but I'm kind of leaning towards listing some stuff. Deshaun Watson to $299, Texans red back variation. And then, of course, I've got all that memorabilia, too, from like spots that don't sell or people that stiff you, don't pay you. And then you end up like, why would you not pay when you did hit it? I mean, the people who don't pay when they don't hit it, at least you understand what their game is, right? They're just going to scam you if they hit it. They'll pay you, and if they don't, they won't. But the people who hit and still don't pay is just so weird to me. But it happens. This is numbered to 99 eras for the Green Bay Packers. Nicholas says, I missed a numbered one. Um, was it a low numbered one? Because I don't know which, which uh, was it, a, do you remember the player or anything? So I can go back and, and try and locate it, Nicholas. Oh, never mind, you said. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. For the Ravens, Terrell Suggs is our relic. And then another classic clashes just to go in our stack. All right, so the box that launched himself off the top, eh, he was all right. He gave us a nice low numbered Kurt Benker, but I kind of thought maybe we would have something super spectacular in there. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. What's this, Salt Hill? <laughs> you said eBay is running a $10 max fees offer at the moment for sellers. I don't remember seeing that offer. I wonder if ever, not probably not everybody gets it. Might be one of those targeted offers or something. But if that's the case and it applies to me, oh yeah, I need to put a bunch of stuff up there. Because my fees... In the month of May, were over seven thousand dollars just on eBay. Not counting PayPal, just on eBay. I paid them over seven grand in fees. So yeah, they're not going to give me any breaks. <laughs> they're going to be like, "Hey, look, this idiot uh, pays us," you know. Pays a couple of people salaries. We're not gonna. We're not gonna give her any break. Yeah, the fees on there have just gotten to be outrageous. When I first started with eBay, which granted has been 20 years ago, probably maybe a little more than, eBay and PayPal fees combined together were like three, four percent. These days, you don't even get PayPal for that because you got to pay the 3% and then you have to pay the 30 cent transaction fee on top of that. So, yeah, it's 
I mean, and I realize a lot of years have passed in between, but my goodness, I mean, the fees have just gotten outrageous, especially on eBay. It's just stupid. But anyway, I will have to go check, check and see if I can find that offer, Saltilly. You have me very intrigued. I fear, though, that it is not going to apply to me. It's probably targeted, and they'll just laugh at me and say, Ha ha, no way, sucker. This is numbered to 25, Warren Sapp and the Bucks, Timeless uh, Tributes. Which I always want to say Timeless Treasures, because that's the name of the basketball series that Panini has. Numbered to 299, Heath Miller, Redback. For my Pittsburgh Steelers, a Dak Prescott relic for the Cowboys. eBay is trying to reel you in. You have a 500 free listings offer, a max $10 fees offer, and a 10% eBay bucks offer all weekend. Wow, man. You must just be living right. I don't have any of that. <laughs> they just don't like me. That is number to 50. Devontae Adams for the and the Packers with the blank back. So yeah, they're uh, they're definitely courting you, but they are not showing me any love. For the Vikings to 99, that is timeless tribute. I mean, frankly, I think they should kind of have a cap on fees and or they should have some lower fees. But I know the reason they charge the percentage that they do in trading cards is because there's a lot of low priced sales that happen with individual cards and things. And they want to make sure they get their cut, of course. Ian Thomas, numbered to 99. Boy, I don't know. If, I don't know have any idea where Ian Thomas goes. I am not even sure I have Ian Thomas written down. Let me see if I... Oh, I do. Panthers. Ian Thomas is a panther, and I do not remember pulling Ian Thomas out of anything else we've opened. Maybe we have pulled him, but I don't remember pulling him out of classics or leaf or anything. Huh. Here's our buyback. It is Marlon Mack on a playoff card numbered to 10 for the Colts. And I will say this. The last case where we had a buyback card that was a recent rookie and it was a playoff and it looked really a lot like that except it was Josh Dobbs for the Steelers. We ended up having a second buyback card in that case as well that was a much older card to 299 Marquise Goodwin 49ers red back. So I don't know if that's gonna hold true here or not, but maybe. Maurice Hurst to 299 red back variation for the Raiders. Cam Newton red back refractor to 175. Oh, Ed has the same offers. Everybody got the good offers from eBay but me. Tag on it. <laughs> that makes me so sad. And truthfully, if I had more time, I got a ton of stuff I need to list on there. Not just cards and memorabilia, although I have a lot of that. I used to uh, do a lot of movies on eBay and various things. Really, I mostly did the codes. You know, the digital codes where you could have the code and then download the movie into Voodoo or whatever service you used. And I used to do that a lot for many years. And so I have tons and tons and tons of Blu-rays around this house and some DVDs, but a lot of Blu-rays. I need to sell a bunch of that. You know, I've got steel books and digi books and television shows and Disney stuff and half of it's not all of it's new but probably 30% of it's brand new never opened it the rest I opened only to take a code out never watched it or used it and I don't know so I have time to sit to list it and sell it and all that yeah Saltill I know what you mean it is weird um, about the 
recent uh, buyback cards. Because the same thing happened with the last one, which was Josh Dobbs. And we pulled it, and I looked at it, and I was like, well, it has to be the buyback because it's, you know, his rookie card. And he was a rookie in last year's products. So I kind of just resigned myself to the fact that it must be the buyback. But I thought it was odd to have somebody who was just in the last year's rookie class as the buyback. And then later in the case, we found the what I would call the traditional buyback, which is why I'm wondering if we'll experience the same thing here. I hope so, but you never know. But yeah, you have a very good point. You don't really have to buy back like last year's stuff. They, pro <laughs> they probably do still have it mostly just hanging out there somewhere. And it was the exact same card set, too. The uh, Josh Dobbs from the other break was also playoff, just like this Marlon Mack is. Michael Gallup, chrome, just a base chrome for the Cowboys. Number 1099, Azeem Victor, Timeless Tribute. Number 299 for the Bucks, Mike Evans, Timeless Tribute. Number to 299, Kevin Tolliver, Red Back. You know, the other thing, whoops, we had a sticker stuck to the back of that little blank uh, dummy card that just went by. One of the other things that was different this year is um, that Panini didn't do any Father's Day packs for Breakers this year. This is numbered to 99, Cam Newton for the Panthers, Composer's Insert. For the Falcons, Julio Jones and Matt Ryan combos. At least we get lucky and one's red and one's white. That's more interesting to me than when they're both the same color. Oh, I saw the numbers for gold standard this week too. Man. They are just they are just ridiculous. They are not producing enough of anything. Like my gold standard got cut in half. So I'm ending up with I think I've only got maybe three cases or something coming. It makes me like super unhappy. Bo Scarborough numbered to 25. Sticker auto there for the Cowboys. I mean, they've already, they're just cutting everything this year. Even, um, like, Elite and all that, everything's been cut. There is Riley Ferguson, blank back, numbered to 35. Once again, I know, unless he has signed a deal in the last two days, he is an undrafted free agent. So I'm setting him up there at the top so we can do something with him. He is not still with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They did cut him. He was only there like a week. Got cut, I don't know, around middle of last month. 13th, 14th of May, somewhere in there. To 299, Stefan Diggs, Vikings, red back. And if you ever want to know about how, if somebody's signed or not signed or what their status is, you know, you can go to NFL.com and they have an active player search and they have a uh, uh, retired player search. They call it, I think, historical player search, but basically it's retired people. But you can go there, type in the name and, you know, even our, even our young guys who are in the various training camps and stuff right now will come up and tell you what team they're with. Nicholas, you are asking if I passed a numbered card right before the insert of Cam Newton. Oh boy, I don't know. That is way far back. So if I did that one, we'll probably we'll just have to wait and find it when I do the sorting. 
I hope that I didn't, but I I probably probably did if Nicholas thinks he saw it. I, he's pretty good about that. I could there is a way to go in and change it so that the chat is virtually in real time, but you have to adjust the latency to do that, which then can cause other issues. So I kind of leave it the way it is with a little bit of a delay. This is numbered to 25, Dick Lebeau for the Lions with the orange timeless tribute. Back when Dick Lebeau was still a player. Franco Harris, base uh, chrome. John Kelly, I believe, oh, wait a minute. John Kelly, I think, is a ram. I have to double check that, but I think so. Jim Taylor for the Packers, blank back to 50. Whoops, hang on. Two composers together. Jimmy G, who is numbered to 99, and Tom Brady, who is not numbered. What do you guys think about Garoppolo? Do you think he's going to come back and be all that and a box of cookies or what? Numbered to 299, Deshaun Jackson, red back for the Buccaneers. Certainly, he was good when he played last year. That's kind of a small sample size, so I'm interested to see. Because he's got a lot of hype around him right now, so I'm kind of interested to see if he can meet or exceed all of that hype at this point. Micah Kaiser. Micah is numbered to 49. And why can I not think where Micah Kaiser goes? I should know that, but I'm having a blanking, blanking out on Micah. Let me look him up. Micah, 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 where are you, brother? The Rams. Micah Kaiser is a Ram. Stafford Sports Cards, you think, uh, you think he's going to be insanely good? I mean, he certainly in the sample size that we saw was awfully good for sure of course the danger of that always is then you the hype builds and then it seems like no matter what you do you can't live up to the hype but i would expect i mean he he certainly looked to be the real deal in the what was it five or six games i guess that he played You know their little rookie quarterback uh, was just like, oh well, I'm done now. <laughs> you know, because the kid was had what a start, maybe one or two before they got Jimmy. LT Lawrence Taylor relic for the Giants. So yeah, that kid just kind of went, yeah, there I am, a backup forevermore. Oh, I hear you. My opinion is always skewed on my Steelers, too. I mean, it's hard when you're a fan of the team. You're only going to think of them in the best possible terms. I'm the same way. Dallas Goddard, that once again is for the Eagles. It is a timeless tribute. It is numbered to five because it's the chrome uh, refractor parallel. If you find that same color in paper, it is generally numbered to ten. But as we see in chrome... It is numbered to five, so even better. Numbered to 99, Jordan Reed, Redskins. Numbered to 299, Jim Kelly for the Bills, red back parallel. Yeah. 
Yeah, Stafford, we'll have to get some of the 2014 stuff listed for you. I mean, that's 2014 black gold sitting right back there, as a matter of fact. I think I still have some 2014 Top Supreme. I know I have some 2014 Chrome, both minis and regular. Um, I might have some 2014 Triple Threads still left. I don't know what else. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've got uh, 14 Strata, Top Strata. And I don't, maybe Turkey Red. And I don't know what else. But I definitely have some 2014 stuff for sure. Because I went on a little run, a little tear there a while back where I, I listed a bunch of 14 stuff. And then I got busy with all these things that have so many base cards in them of the new releases. I stopped listing as many of the older things as I had been. Because I do those a lot in one and two box breaks. And they're easy to break and they're easy to sort. But, of course, they take up time to get them shipped out. And, more importantly, they take up time to set and list them and, you know, work them in. And whenever I have a lot of stuff with a lot of base cards, which, I mean, you know, from really the first of first of the year until Tier 1, all the baseball stuff had been base card heavy. And we've had a lot of similar with football so uh this is box nine coming out of the wrappers right now guys 2015 black gold salt till i have not had any of that in a while i definitely know where i can get it but i don't have any on hand i have 2016 black gold on hand and i have 2014 black gold on hand but not currently 15 but I do know where I can get it. Um, Jester was originally undrafted, currently with the Texans. So, Jester there, headed to the Texans, numbered to 99. I know, Nicholas, I'm getting faster, right? Like I told you guys, I get faster as I go. That's numbered to 299, the Raiders, Ken Stabler. Because you get used to it after you've opened the product a few times, you you don't have to go as uh, slowly because you have learned what you're looking for to where it's almost automatic by the time. Why does Tom Brady keep sticking to the back of the blank card? Because you've kind of learned where everything is and what you're looking for and roughly what you should find so you can go through it a little faster than in the beginning when... You're still kind of trying to figure out. Number to 299, Drew Brees for the Saints. That will be a red back parallel. Brett Favre Relic for the Green Bay Packers. But also, you got to remember, too, you have been occupied sorting your Jerome Bettis card, so that makes the time probably go by doubly fast because you're multitasking, so... At least that's how it works for me. Denzel Ward, Redback, 175, Chrome Refractor, Browns. So we've really only got one more box to see if we really do have another buyback or if for real the Marlon Max gonna be gonna be the buyback in this case. But I tell you what, Saltil, if I think about it, um, I'll try and order you. Oh, did I just lay that on top of that chrome? I didn't mean to do that. I will try to uh, order you in. Well, not in for you specific. Well, I'll try to order some 2015 black gold that we can break. How about that? Number to 99, Cameron Petway. Now, having said that, just because I get it here, that is no guarantee that I will be breaking it super soon. <laughs> the only thing that guarantees you is that I will have it here, and if they later sell out, we will have some. <laughs> that is number 299, Deion Sanders and the Falcons. 
because truthfully, over the summer, over the next like three months, I want to work through the vast majority of this older stuff that I have here. Number to 299, Raymond Berry and the Colts. Because there's a lot of it. And I really do need to have less of it. I just need to have less of everything. I've got so much stuff. <laughs> We're going to start a bonfire <laughs> with cards from the breaks you've had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I just, you know, here's my deal. I, there's certain products I like and they break well and we get good stuff out of them. So, and some of them are harder to find than others, of course. So sometimes I'll find something that I think, yeah, I don't really know when I'm going to see that again necessarily. So I kind of stock up on it. Oh, hang on a second, guys. Sorry, I just needed a little drink there of my Mountain Dew Kickstart. Like, I need to be drinking that at 11 o'clock at night, but hey, I am. Um, anyway, so I'll stock up on it, and then I'll open part of it. You know, maybe I buy a couple cases of it, and I'll break a case of it or something, and then I'll be like, eh, I'm tired of breaking that. I'm going to break something else. And then this other case will just kind of, you know, sit there. <laughs> so... And then eventually, I'll get back around to it, but eventually might be a month, might be six months, might be a year. I mean, yeah. Got a ton of basketball stuff I need to put together into mixers as well. Like tons of it. I've just, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I will make the time to take some pictures and create some listings. Like that, ah, that greatest hits baseball. I got to break that. It's like a $600 box of cards. I got to break that. It's been sitting there on the table for two months. And we've got greatest hits football, too, by the by. Same deal, six, I think, I think they were about the same price, about 600 a box. And they're super cool. It's not like they don't have good stuff in them. They do. I mean, it's four buyback cards. They're either graded or encased. They're usually very nice hits. Somehow, I just, I don't know, because I don't have a listing created. I don't get it listed. Another Raymond Berry to 299 redback variation. Those came out back to back. 299 Derek Carr for the Raiders redback. Oh, Nicholas, he says that uh, he's not feeling he's not feeling like he's going to hit a Steeler auto in this last box. Giants, we have a no-name front alongside it being a chrome. You know what that means? It's numbered to five. Odell Beckham Jr. and the Giants. Nice low number hit there for NYG. Oh, and so <laughs> he said, Nicholas, that's awful. So you just think the Steelers autograph's going to be tomorrow night, but you know you're not going to be in tomorrow night? No, let's think positively. Let's think it's going to be in here for you. Howie Long, because you know we were not going to get through a case without finding a Howie Long relic, didn't you? Seriously, has he not been in every case? I think he has been. I think he has been in every single case as a relic. And we even had him as a buyback autograph in one of the cases. Another Barry Sanders, that one numbered to 99 with a timeless tribute again. So a pair of those, but of course we were hoping to find your Barry Sanders autograph. Jaleel Scott, 299 red back variation. <laughs> Salt Hill says, how he now lives in classics. I mean, I swear to you, it's like they found a bunch of, there's a nice little Lamar Jackson chrome, found a bunch of Howie Long jerseys like stuffed in a closet or something and decided that that's what was going to happen. They were just going to cut them all up and put them all into classics. 
And here comes a little auto for the Patriots, numbered to 99, Ted Johnson. So a little uh, back to the future kind of auto there for the Patriots. A little time travel. Not one you see very often. So if you have the Patriots, I'd say that was a good hit for you. Yeah, Saltill, I don't think that there has been. I think he's been in every single case, at least every single case of mine. Numbered to 299, Drew Brees. Once again, red back parallel. Now, I can't say as to whether or not he's been in everyone else's, but for sure he's been in mine. And that's about the 800th Tom Brady sticker that I've seen tonight, too. Here's Big Ben, Timeless Tributes, orange, numbered to 25. So at least you're not going home empty-handed, Nicholas. You got the Big Ben to 25, and you have uh, the, the combo relic for the Steelers, at the very least, anyway. I know you're looking for Mason Rudolph. I'm sorry we didn't find him. And I guess Marlon Mack was our one and only buyback tonight. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy. All right, so we have a couple things to do. First, we're going to deal with this. Classic clashes. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to roll over to random. I will enter left and right. I will hit random three different times. The first two will not count. It will only be the third and final random that will make the determination as to where those cards are going to go. After we do that, I will sort back through them. We'll buzz through them real quickly so you can see which team gets each card, in case you're interested in knowing that sort of thing. Ignore the first one. Ignore the second one. Here's our third and final. There you see three times, our date and time stamp. It comes up as the left side of the card. So I'm going to slide the top one in a sleeve so that I can circle that, and I will know for later... So it's going to be Raiders, Niner, Cowboy, Bear, Charger, Steeler, Bear, Packer, Bengal, Raider, Niner, Steeler, Raider, Bengal, Bear, Patriot, Niner, Raider, Charger, Steeler, Cowboy, Viking. So that's how those have been awarded. Now we have our dear friend here, Riley Ferguson, our undrafted free agent. He is a chrome refractor blank back, number 35, and we're going to give him away using random as well. And here's the deal, guys. If I happen to find, there may be more Riley Ferguson paper in there. There could be some other undrafted free agents in paper in there that, Again, are not currently with a team as of right now, today. Oops. And, ah, I hit, what have I done? I put us on the wrong thing. Yes. Yes, I gave you a seizure there. Sorry about that. Um, so if I find whatever else I find, it would, of course, go with Riley here. So basically, that's what we're going to determine right now using random, is what team... We'll end up with Riley and any other uh, unsigned, undrafted guys who are free agents as of right now. So there's all 32 of our teams. We're just going to hit random one single time. And that comes up as the Jags. So I'm going to... I need to write that down somewhere. I'll just write it on this. And then I'll, I'll sort it into a little bag and a little bit and label it so I'll know. All right, so this going to the Jaguars using random. And again, any other paper Riley Ferguson that I find or any other guys not currently with the team will go in that same little bag that would go off to the Jags, okay? All right, and 
Let's do a quick little buzz through here on our numbered stuff. Not going to necessarily, uh, I'm not going to read all these off again, but you know that anything numbered to 299 has a red back. If they are numbered to 50, they have a blank back. The timeless tributes that are edged in gold or yellow, whichever you prefer to call it, are numbered to 99. The ones that are in orange are numbered to 25. Occasionally we find one in blue, but we didn't tonight. We have a blue chrome, but no blue paper. But the blue are numbered to 10 when we do come across them. I think there might even be another numbering system but like another color variation in there but I don't know we seem to pull we seem to pull the 99s and the 25s and the 10s all right this is a nice chrome no name front numbered to five chrome red back to 175 chrome timeless tributes to five chrome red back 175 chrome uh, gold parallel 65 Chrome Gold Parallel 65, Chrome Red Back 175, Chrome Red Back 175, and then the Chrome uh, Gold to 65. So I think that takes care of all of that. Now, let's recap our relics. Howie Long and the Raiders. Followed by Brett Favre and the Packers, Lawrence Taylor, Giants. Combo relics for the phallic <laughs> for the Falcons. Ooh yeah. Yeah, have some more Mountain Dew Kickstart. <laughs> Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. Terrell Suggs, Ravens, Von Miller, Broncos. Combo relic Eagles. For the Rams, Eric Dickerson. Combo relic Steelers. Combo relic Bills. Now our autograph hits. Ted Johnson, numbered to 99. I started to say 49, but it's numbered to 99 for the Patriots. Jester, we, is it we, way? I don't know. It's numbered to 99, and of course, he was originally undrafted and currently with the Texans. Micah Kaiser, that is numbered to, to 49. He also was originally undrafted, but is currently with the Rams. Bo Scarborough, 225, is a Cowboy. Our buyback card was Marlon Mack and the Colts, numbered to 10. Ian Thomas, numbered to 99. Ian Thomas, I think, I had to look that up. He was a Panther, right? Let me double check. Yeah, Panther. Kurt Ben Kurt, originally undrafted, currently with the Falcons, number 225. Joe Mixon to 49. Mike Gesicki to 199 for the Dolphins. Luke Falk to 49 for the Titans. And the nice little Josh Rosen to 15 for the Cardinals, which is a fantastic hit for the Cardinals. And, oh, see, Nicholas, you think you jinxed yourself? No, man, you didn't jinx yourself. It's just, you know, sometimes they come out and sometimes, sometimes it's a good night at the office, so to speak, and you pull everything you're looking for, and some nights it's a little harder. But you didn't jinx yourself. I don't, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Here again is the spreadsheet, just in case you missed it earlier. There's info on your anticipated shipping dates and... Also about consolation cards if you were in one of the earlier breaks. Oh, and I see Jeff here saying, oh, he doesn't like classics. He thinks uh, classics is no, is no fun. I like classics. I mean, I guess it's all in what you're looking for, Jeff. So, you know, everybody's got their own thing that they like in, about a product. I personally, I've always liked classics. Now, I'm not a huge fan of maybe the relics and classics as much. I mean, they're okay, but, you know, they're kind of boring, sort of. But I, as a whole, I really like the product of classics. And I like, we pulled more rookies than normal tonight. 
which is certainly a good component and what a lot of people are looking for. But I always like the the uh, veteran autos and classics in particular and the buybacks, and they're usually pretty good. And for the price, you know, it's hard to beat because it's not an expensive buy-in for the most part. And then, of course, what you see right now, uh, just the upcoming breaks coming up over the next few days. Tomorrow night, we are going to bust into another 10-box case classics. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll finish up with the Tier 1, and we'll do another case of Essentials. Wednesday, of course, is the day that Top's Finest comes out. We'll start on that Wednesday night. We'll break more of it on Thursday night. And by the time we get to Friday, we'll be busting into some brand new 2018 football called Luminance. So that's kind of what we're looking at in the days ahead. And I think that's pretty well got us wrapped up for tonight as well. So Nicholas, you're going to be, uh, oh, all right, you're heading out then. And you're going to, oh, yeah, with the show, I would say, yeah, you're probably not going to be around uh, doing too many breaks in the days ahead. You're going to be busy driving, burning up the highway and working your show. So, but we'll, we'll keep a spot warm for you, man. So when you come back, we'll be here not to worry. All right, guys, that is it for me this Saturday night. Once again, and gals, once again, thank you for joining the break and hanging out with me. And, uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night with more classics and other fun stuff. So have a good one and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.